I made a video yesterday sharing and showing you how I made all of these Valentine's Day designs just here. Now, if you want to check it out, I will link it down in the description, so it's a little bit easier for you to come and watch. Now, today's video, I kind of want to do a little bit of a follow-up video and show you how you can take the prompts from these. Let's click on this one. But I want to show you how we can take these prompts, add our own quotes, and make our own unique designs. See, when it comes to ideogram or ideogram, I always forget how to say it, but when it comes to this AI, a lot of people just come over here, find designs, and then they remix. So if we click onto this design, and then we go to remix, this is what they tend to do. And they play around with the image weight, they might put it high, they might put it low. Now the problem with doing this is that everyone else is going to do that and you're all going to have practically the same design. That's why I want to show you and share with you today on how you can take these prompts, use ChatGPT, and then create an unlimited amount of new designs with different quotes. Now, quick side note as well, if you do want a bunch of prompts for print on demand, then I have this for you just here, which is my 100 ideogram prompts. Now, this is completely free for you to grab as well. This is also going to be down in the description. But with this, you get 50 prompts for stickers and 50 for t-shirts. Again, if you want to come and check this out, there will be a link down below. Now, nonetheless, what we're now going to do is use ChatGPT. We're going to use a pun generator to create lots of different types of puns so that we can edit all of these prompts over here, because it's a lot easier than what you're probably thinking. But what we have to do is keep the same niche. So if we click on to this one just here, and let's just add this prompt up the top. Let's get rid of that. So what we're going to do is keep the same niche, so it keeps everything practically the same, but we're going to change out the quote just here. And again, this is a great way to create brand new designs. So if we come over to here, we're in the GPT store, we're going to come to the search and we're just going to put pun. And it's going to be the first one that pops up, which is this one just here. Pun Innovator by Merch Momentum. Now, if we click on there, we can go through and open this up as well, just like so. And now, what we can put is something like this. I'm going to give you a quote slash pun, and I need a list of similar ones. Now, I could have worded that a little bit better, but let's see how this goes. Do you understand? Just respond with yes. We're going to click enter, and now we can add this just here as well. So the niche, Valentine's and flowers. So if we come back over to here, we can see that this is for Valentine's Day, but it is floral or flower related. So let's come back over to here. And the quote is, I pick you every time. Now, if we click enter, we're going to get lots of brand new quotes for Valentine's and flowers. Now, if we come back over to here, let's just take a look at some of these. So this one is Valentine's and chilies or peppers. And this one is Valentine's and eggs, Valentine's and strawberries, Valentine's and cheese. So there's a lot of different ways that you could do that. But let's come over to here because now we have a bunch of different quotes that we can use. Now, a quick side note as well, no matter where you're getting your quotes from, whether it's a generator or even if you make it up yourself, always, always, always remember to check for trademarks because you do not want any issues further down the road. Now, let's just take this first one. You make my heart bloom. So now I can copy this. If we come back over to Ideogram, let's find this one again. Let's add that prompt and let's come up to here and change out that quote just like that. Now we can also play around with the colors. So if we look here, this is rosy cheek, pink heart, and pink and orange. So we could go through this and change this up even more, but for this example, we're just going to keep that at this. Now the settings you want to use is magic prompt on, model 2.0, and rendering turbo. 
Now I always have my rendering on turbo because that uses the least amount of credits. If we click on default, that's going to use two. If we click on quality, that's going to use three. If we click back onto turbo, it only uses one credit. Now I am also going to make this public as well. So let's now go ahead and click generate. Now let's go back and there we go. Now, as you can see, it's used practically the same style, but we now have more of a unique design because we changed out the quote. Now, if we click on these, we can take a look. Now, one thing I have noticed with 2.0 is that the first two generations aren't usually that good. So this one's not that great. This one isn't that great. But then this one is, and then that one is as well. Now, I really like this one. So what I'm going to do is just remix this we're going to put the image weight all the way up to 100%. We're going to turn magic prompt off. Then I'm going to remix and I'm just going to delete this one. Now, why do I do that? Now, I've put this onto the wrong one. So let me just change this to public just like that. But nonetheless, why do I do that? Well, I like all of my four generations to be exactly the same. That way, when I look at my designs at a glance, I know that every single one is going to be the exact same and I don't have to go in to this collection to find the one that I like. Now that one's done, so let's go ahead and just do a couple more as well. So let's take this rose one. So if we take this, we can then change out the daisy for a rose as well. So if we copy this, let's come back over, let's take that original, let's do the prompt, let's get rid of that and let's add this in there just like that and then let's change daisy to rose and then we can do magic prompt we can click generate now let's go ahead and do a couple more as well so we have four generations so let's come back over to chat gpt and let's take this cactus one we're going to copy this we're going to come back over we're going to add the prompt again we're going to change that out for the new quote and then we're going to change daisy to cactus and then we're going to click generate and let's go ahead and do one more and then we'll have all four so let's go ahead and take this lily one so we're going to copy we're going to come back over we're going to add the prompt we're going to change the quote and then we're going to change daisy to lily just like that let's click generate let's go back through and then let's take a look at these now i've only gone ahead and done it again because normally all of my generations are private so let's just go ahead and make these public really really quick just like that and then let's just go back onto my public view so there we go we actually have four different designs now using that same style but with completely different quotes now this is good if you want to create designs to sell as bundles on something like Creative Fabrica. But nonetheless, these actually look pretty good. And again, you can do that for any of these designs here. So in fact, let's just take a different one. Let's go with tacos because everyone loves tacos. So what we're going to do is take this quote. So we're going to come back over to chat GPT and now we want to get and now we want to copy this part. We're going to come down to here. We're going to paste that in here. This one's niche, valentines and tacos. Then we need that quote. So we're going to come back over to here. We're going to copy that quote as well. Copy, come back over, replace this quote. And then we're going to press go. And let's give this a second. And now we're going to have lots of different taco related Valentine's Day quotes, which we can then go ahead copy one of these we can come back over to ideogram we can add this we can change that quote out just like that and we can also mix up the colors as well now let's put that on public let's click generate and let's go back and let's take a look so this first one i'm not that keen on that one not that keen on the second so that's what i mean when the first two generations don't tend to come out that well. It's normally the third and the fourth. Now, I really like this one, so let's just quickly remix this as well. Let's turn that off. Let's go to 
public and remix. Then let's go back. I forgot to delete that, so let's just delete this as well. Let's give that a second, and then we can take a look. So if we come back down to here, that's the original, and we can see very similar style, but a completely different quote. And again, it would look even more different if we changed up the colors. Now I'm going to delete that one because we're not going to create four more, and I like to keep all of these. But nonetheless, that's how simple it is to come through and use all of these designs here, along with ChatGPT, to come up with some completely different designs. Now again, this is a follow-up from yesterday's video, and if you want to see that, I will link it down in the description. Now, if you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to give me a thumbs up as it really helps out the channel. And if you're not too sure what to watch next, click right here and watch this playlist.